Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In view of the current special situation, Russia is facing the same predicament as China, and it can even be said to be more serious. It continues to suffer sanctions and suppression from European and American countries in the field of science and technology, especially at the chip and system levels. But this has also completely aroused the anger of the two countries. Determination to self-study In today's high-end science and technology level, the United States and the West are strictly guarding against China. Fortunately, after Chinese companies return to the technology, industry and trade, business philosophy, they have achieved outstanding results in self-research of chips. Lungsen Junker's Lungsen series of chips, it has been able to meet the needs of various fields at this stage. The return of Huawei Kirin 9000S completely left the Biden team at a loss of direction. After exploring the networking data of all lithography machines, they still could not find any OEM information. They only confirmed that this chip is based on the 7 nanometers process. Yes, no one knows what kind of strength Huawei hides. This also indirectly means that China has reached the threshold of high-end chips. In the competition in the field of AI chips, Huawei and Alibaba have also made breakthroughs. Although they have not yet reached the top international level, fortunately, domestic chips have achieved many points. Blooming, no longer feeling the same powerlessness as before. Now Russia can only choose to embrace China. The ALT operating system developed by the Russian company Basalt SPO has begun to adapt to Lungsen's CPU. What kind of effect can be achieved through the alliance of powerful forces? Can it break the technology monopoly of Europe and the United States? China and Russia's self-research layout whether it is chips or operating systems, American companies have the world's top technologies. Qualcomm's Snapdragon series and Apple's A-series chips in the mobile phone field represent the progress of chip performance development. Likewise, Google's Android system and Apple's iOS system, the market share reached more than 99% at its peak and it can be said to have completely monopolized the market. In contrast, in the field of PC computers, US companies such as Intel, AMD, and Nvidia directly monopolize the entire demand for high-performance chips on the computer side. Similarly, Microsoft's Windows operating system can be said to have completely monopolized the global market. Many companies have tried to break this situation. Pattern, but in the end it can be said that it failed completely. Facing rounds of sanctions and suppression by the United States, Chinese companies have completely abandoned the thinking of making is worse than buying, and buying is worse than renting, and have focused on independent research and development of technology. Russia has also been cornered and can only rely on China. To solve the dilemma of lack of cause and lack of soul, the two countries have launched a comprehensive layout for the operating system and chip industries. Although Russia's chip technology is not satisfactory, it has achieved good results in the operating system. Basalt SPO developed the ALT operating system based on open-source Linux. The open-source attribute makes it easily compatible with applications and tools. In view of the weakness of the local chip industry, in order to solve the monopoly problem of the United States and Western countries, as soon as possible, 
Russian companies have chosen to adapt to Chinese chips. It is reported that the ALT operating system has been adapted to Lungsun 3A5000, Lungsun 3A6000 and other chips, and the follow-up will take nine months. It took time to adapt to the Long Arch architecture, which also became the first Russian operating system to support Lingson. China's layout in this regard is not bad either. Huawei's self-developed Hongmeng operating system has built a relatively complete ecosystem. The number of devices installed in the open-source Hongmeng has exceeded 700 million. At present, internet giants such as Tencent and Meituan, they have also been added one after another, and more Hongmeng apps will be derived in the future, and there is no need to be compatible with Android applications. At the same time, China has also made breakthrough progress in the layout of the chip industry. In the field of memory chips, Chinese companies such as Yangtze Memory and Changshin Memory have successively made breakthroughs in NAND flash memory chips. Even if they do not need to rely on overseas imports, they can still meet the current needs. This is also the main factor behind the inventory crisis of Korean companies and Micron after being restricted from shipping. Although Russia has lagged behind in scientific research in modern times, the foundation still exists. After the two sides carry out in-depth cooperation, they will definitely be able to complement each other in all aspects. Lungsen can successfully go abroad, which is beneficial to the subsequent development of globalization. Of great benefit there will be more similar cooperation. Previously, the Russian BQ mobile phone manufacturer wanted to adapt to the open-source Hongmeng. However, because Huawei was not ready to open foreign markets, the cooperation between the two parties was temporarily shelved. However, with the cooperation between China and Russia the cooperation between the two companies will definitely restart. The two countries are suffering from the same situation, so they naturally know how to sympathize with each other. Of course, China cannot rely too much on Russian technology. There are only interests between countries. Only by truly realizing technological autonomy can the crisis be completely resolved. What do you think about this?